wait a minute, wait a minute. How did we get to this moment? Well, let's go back to earlier that day to find out exactly what had happened. The day begins when the Stegosaur herd, which Chris and Kate are in, finally make it to the other side of the island. <laughs> But first, they must cross a bridge near the main source of water on the plains. As the rest of the herd crosses, Bloodshot and his herd watch as new animals come into the plains. But Bloodshot knows all too well that predators will eventually come in and get food from the herd. So Bloodshot decides to move his herd out of the area to, vo to avoid potential predators. As Bullseye, Chris, and Kate move out onto the plains, many of the dinosaurs in the herd split off. The Enchiceratops will move into the plains with the Stegosaurus herd until the Stegosaurus make the return back to the jungle. <laughs> Homolocephaly, on the other hand, will move into the forest where they will eat as much vegetation as they can before making their own trip back home to the desert. <laughs> However, predators are still in the area waiting for the herd to arrive, like Dennis. However, Dennis is not focused on them at the moment. He is after the iguanodon that are out on the plains. <laughs> However, it seems like Dennis is not alone on this hunt. A female Utah raptor seems to be joining his hunt as they begin to strike the male iguanodon in the herd. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
They seem to have made a kill, and it seems like these dinosaurs could also be dating. And Dennis can no longer live an empty life anymore. However, one predator has more interest in the herd. Mark. Mark begins to eye up on the stegosaur herd and notices two teenage stegosaurus looking for trouble. Chris and Kate. Mark begins to figure out a way to get them alone and decides to wait for nightfall to come in for that type of a meal. As it becomes late on the island, it becomes harder to see. So with our special lights, we can see the dinosaurs at night without disturbing them. After a long day of foraging for food, the stegosaurus herd begins to rest for the night, but not Chris and Kate. Chris and Kate decide to do the most stupid idea of exploring their world at night. <laughs> But a predator approaches the pair. It's Mark. Mark begins to attack one of the legs of Chris. Kate tries to help Chris. But she gets blocked by Mark invading her advance. Chris runs for his life. However, Mark's sense of smell is better than the modern dogs. Mark will track down and kill the herbivore. Chris, with his badly wounded leg, moves towards an incline on the plains, but. Mark has found him. Chris tries to scare Mark off by flashing the bright colors into his plates, but Mark will not let go of his prey, and a stegosaurus is going to die. <laughs>